Getting a place to rent in the UK is one of the hardest things anyone can face. If you are a student in the UK, it is even more harder to get a property because you might not be able to meet up with all the requirements. If they discover that you are a new immigrant, they know that you don't have pay slip and they might end up demanding for three months or six months upfront. Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Freshy Gold. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And on this channel, I share everything about UK, lifestyle, motherhood, skincare beauty and many more and my coming back subscribers you guys are not let out i want to thank you guys for all your love on my channel i can't even take your support for granted and if you're still yet to subscribe to my channel please go ahead and do so hit on the bell notification so as to always be notified whenever i post a new video on this channel without saying much let's go straight into today's video Today's video, I will be sharing information about how to rent properties faster and easier, things you also need to consider before renting a property here in the UK. And we all know that renting a property in the UK is one of the hardest challenges so far because people looking for properties are so many and the properties itself are so few. So I'll be sharing with you guys tips to rent a property here in the UK and also things to consider before you rent an apartment here in the UK. Please watch this video to the end so as to not miss out on any info I'll be sharing. Here are the few things I want you to consider before you rent that property here in the UK. Number one is location. Most times, because of the stress people have gone through before they could secure that property they want, they don't even mind the distance where the house is located to where they have activities going on. Example, workplace and where you school if you're a student. So most times, people go through so many stress before they get that property to rent. They just decide to settle in any location that they see property to rent. And at the end of the end up paying so much on transportation and also commuting will become very difficult for them. And now let's say, you get an apartment to rent for 1200 per month you're spending over 200 to 300 pounds every month on transportation at the end of the day you're paying one five and you have not added your bills gas electricity bill you've not added your broadband water bill cancel tax that's if you're not a student you won't be consistent with your rent you may end up defaulting you might just run into a problem that you won't be able to handle financially because of the pressure from the landlord and the agents that have given you a property. The next point I'll be talking about is affordability. I know that the pressure is much for you to get a place to stay, but please check the affordability. We all know that the first rent payments and the deposit are always easier to pay. Subsequently, can you afford the rent? Imagine paying £1,000 per month for the first month and you ask to pay like once for deposit, that's like 2,200 pounds. That one can be very, very easy for you to get because you've saved to get it. Subsequently, can you afford the rent? Please think well if you can afford the rent. If you know you can afford the rent and it's located in a very good place, please go ahead and take the property. Have a look, look at the council tax. That means if you're not exempted, have a look at the gas and electricity bill. Also, check if the house is an old house or a new house. You spend less on gas or electricity to heat an old house than a modern house. Old house, just because the house is old, even the heating system can be very, very old. They're like analog, right? You might end up spending much money during winter to heat the house. And this can even add more to all the bills you, you have on ground. So please check very well if you can afford it affordability is the key here please check for the affordability the next thing to consider is what are the charges remember different agents have different charges and these charges ranges from how much you are going to pay for deposits and also how many week payments do they require 
if you are a student in the uk it is even better to get a property because you might not be able to meet up with all the requirements as a student they know that as a new immigrant in the uk they know that you might not have work yet and you might not even have pay slip so they may end up demanding you three to four months upfront also check referencing costs um during the cost of renting a properties in the uk if they consider to give you that property they they begin referencing and this referencing they can ask you to pay a holding fee of one week payment of the rent or two weeks payment of the rent and this holding fee are non-refundable let's say you pay holding fee of 250 pounds and your actual rent is 1000 if your referencing does not go well you as the tenant you are at loss because your deposit for the referencing fee will not be refunded so please check very well what the referencing fee is before you go into renting a property the next important um, point i will be talking about is what is the condition of the house different agents different landlord have different condition they put in place for you to rent a property here in the uk some condition will be like they don't want smokers they don't want people that have kids if you have kids and you lie that you don't have kids you're going to implicate yourself because when they discover that you have kids it's going to be a big problem for you and there are also some um areas in the uk whereby it is not kid zone or it is not for people that have kids so imagine you lying that you don't have kids and the neighbor sees that you have kids they might end up reporting you to the landlord or to the agent and they might ask you to leave the properties and in this case your deposits will not it will not be refunded because you breach the tenancy agreement so check the condition of the house check if it's a no kid zone area or no kid zone house also check if you're someone that that love pets check if pets are allowed and also check whether the place you're renting is a place whereby it's a safe zone for your kids just check just check especially as a parent or as as parents please check the environment you're renting property in i know that everyone is in a rush to just get that place to live with their family and be happy but before you rent that property please check the condition of the house you're renting check if it's there is mold because sometimes you can just check the back of the cupboard you can see mold you can check the roof you can see some black black moldish stuff please check them very well it is bad to inhale mold it is very very dangerous to live in a house where there are mold this can cause you sinuses and other health related issues please check the condition of the house very well most agent and landlord can hide the condition of a of 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 an apartment with paint so you can still check very well whether they painted the mold area to look good when the house has mold once you open the door to enter into the kitchen area or to enter into the sitting room definitely you will feel this heaviness in the atmosphere it means that the house is has mold just check please kindly check the condition of the bathroom check the condition of the living room the lounge the bedroom and also the condition of the house entirely another point to look out here is how many months is the tenancy agreement currently the house you are living in it's 12 month tenancy agreement our previous house was six months and we didn't end up spending up to six months in that house because that was the first property we rented in the uk and we had issue with the agent because the agent lied to us they wanted to start changing the tenancy agreement and we didn't comply with that we wanted to involve the council but we were able to solve the problem amicably and we moved out peacefully from that property and we rented another property we it took us about a month or two to get another place to rent but this time we took our time to check the condition of the house the tenancy agreement and everything that has to do with the house another point is check if it's furnished or unfurnished a furnished apartment is a house whereby you rent and everything is in place the lounge is set up the room has bed and everything normally renting a property in the uk if you're renting an empty house in the uk you just have um the kitchen area is just set up 
you have washing machine, um, cooker, microwave there in some houses and washing machine and also refrigerator. But if it's a fully furnished house, you have both bed and everything. Some even come with curtain and everything. So check if the house is furnished or unfurnished. If you rent a furnished house, it has a diff different rules entirely. Everything is going to be, you have to be careful with this. You have to be careful with that. You have to leave the property the same way it was when you rented it. You have to make sure that nothing is destroyed, nothing is damaged. If anything is destroyed or damaged, you have to fix them there once your agreement expires. You have to fix them there, else the money you paid or deposit will never be refunded back to you. One good thing about renting a furnished property is the fact that you will not stress with buying anything for the house. You will just move in there with your boxes and you're good to go. But renting an empty house is actually the best for me because you know the taste of furniture and everything we put in there. The color combination of what you want, you put it there yourself. Our first house we rented here in the UK was furnished and it was an amazing place. But our second here house we rented here, it's totally an empty house. Only the kitchen area has cooker, washing machine and refrigerator. Aside from that, we're able to set up our house into what we love and the color we want and we want actually most houses in the uk are painted white which is what we really love and we set the properties in we set the apartment in a way that we really love and will be comfortable with we are free to move our prop we are free to move our table our chair our bed into any direction we want there is no one to this to say that we shouldn't move our household item in any direction that we want no one is going to stop us from decorating our house in in any way we want also check if you can make changes to the properties there are some properties that you rent and landlord will be like i want this house to be the same way it is do not make changes do not move this table do not move that do not put holes on the wall do not hang frame do not take out anything and do not add so check very well if you can make changes in the property another point is check the paperwork and inventory in this place i'll be talking about something like this this is our own house inventory when we rented our apartment here in the uk we got this this contained the detailed information of how the house is at the point of handling the key to us so this was done by some inventory organization and they did everything perfectly even to the red even to the three dotted red spot on our second bathroom mirror was uh, was listed here so please check the paperwork well and check your inventory um outline well because if you don't check them well that means you they agree to the condition in which the house is it contains picture of the properties the way we rent when we rented it how it is and everything that has to do with the property is here you see the bathroom the rooms the floor even to the smallest thing on the floor everything is well documented here another thing i would like you guys to check is dps you have to check whether an account is open for your deposits the deposit you made for your rent a property can be for five to five to seven weeks rent so they're going to open a, an account and put the money in there which means that the money is safe and when you finish your contract and you don't want to renew the house after six or 12 months they are going to give back your deposit to you but in case you damage anything they are going to deduct the amount of the money they used to fixing everything you have damaged from your deposit and they'll give back your balance but some landlord or agents can be so funny they might end up not opening that um deposit account for you for them to keep your deposit in room which was the mistake we made in our first house just because we went into the uk and the agent discovered that we were new they wanted they took advantage of us let me use that word they took advantage of us the deposit we made at that time was about 1400 pounds and we didn't even know that they didn't open any scheme we were not informed when there was disagreement they almost did not refund us our money but because my husband was a smart guy he told them that they should use our deposits to 
make our last month our last rent payment which turned into another thing and they wanted to argue with us where well, husband stood on his ground and asked them to check our rent from there which they did our many balance on to date but 200 pounds was not refunded to us just because we don't want any police case we don't want to um we don't want to drag further we just left the deposit for them also moving into a moving into the property you have rented in the uk they are going to do proper cleanup for you in our own case the house was clean even when we came to fix our curtain my friend used to say that i have ocd like i'm allergic to death like i did not see anything to clean even so the handle of the door everything was sparkling so guys please check very well before you rent house and consider all these points i have also shared few tips to renting an accommodation faster here if you tell them you can pay up front that's if you don't have pay slip tell them you can pay off up front and there are some times that they will ask you that how much do you earn in a month or how much do you earn in a year so if you can produce supporting documents to prove that you earn well back it up with some pay slip and also if you have a private account where you have savings back it up with that you will see that they will consider you and another tip to renting a property is that negotiating higher than the actual amount they want to rent to they want to rent out the property this one we made them consider you faster and they'll be like oh this person is so serious let us consider the person sometimes it can take you three to four months before you even get a place to rent in the uk and in our own case i said it took us about just four to five weeks before we got this place to rent um immediately we, immediately we saw the property my husband went for viewing and my husband asked the agent what can we do differently to rent this place the agent was like the house is just to amount if you can increase it i'm sure the landlord will consider you and that was exactly what we did we just increased it by few amounts of pounds and were able to secure the place and when they asked us for our annual income we increased it even though it wasn't showing on our pay slip we were able to provide other evidence to just make our yearly income to increase and we'll show it to them and after that viewing, the following the viewing was on was on Thursday. The following week, Monday, we got an um, an email from the house agent, and the house agent said that the landlord has considered to give you guys the property. Now let's begin the referencing. Within two weeks, we are done with the referencing. We got the key to the property and we moved in. Make sure you the agreement you're signing is a tenancy agreement and not a lodger's agreement. A lodger's agreement from the name, it means that you are lodging in the property and at the end of the day, the deposits is then going to be protected. And if you have issue with the house, the agent or the landlord, you don't have anyone to report the case to because you are just lodging in the properties. So with this few points of mine, I hope I've been able to share with you a few things to consider before you rent a property here in the uk that's all for today please like and share this video so as to help youtube to recommend this video to others and if you're still yet to subscribe to my channel please go ahead and do so and i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye